So here, you know, we will talk about first what is a limiting reactant. Limiting means something that limits the reaction, right? So it means that one reactant will be in excess and one will be in limit. So there are two reactants in the reaction. One will be in excess. These terms that we need to make ourselves familiar. One will be in excess and the other will be a limiting reactant. Limiting reactant means the one which is not in excess and the one which is completely used in the reaction. Now, you know, we will see the calculation, like how we're going to do it. This is very, very important. So like, like now, you know, let's take the example of a reaction. So here, calculations involving limiting the reactants. Let's put the heading here so we understand better. Calculations involving limiting react this is what you know we're gonna talk about so now here let's take the example of reaction of magnesium with hydrochloric acid so here when i'm talking about example 1.2 gram of magnesium reacts with what reacts with a solution reacts with a solution containing what containing two point seven four gram of hydrochloric acid HCl. Okay, here you know what do they want us? They want us to find out what is the limiting reactant. Show by calculation. Which is the limiting reactant. Now here, very first thing that we would need is the chemical equation of this reaction. Whenever magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid, means metal reacts with an acid, what will be formed? Salt and hydrogen is going to be formed. Make sure we are writing the correct equation, MgCl2 plus H2, H2HCl. Yeah, make sure this is balanced. Now the next step is what to find moles. We will do step by step. So now next step when we are doing to find moles, let's do one by one. For magnesium, how much you have? Magnesium, 1.2 grams. So 1.2 mass in gram divided by MR. MR of magnesium is 24 that I'm taking from the periodic table. HCl, which has what? 2.74 divided by MR. For magnesium, it is AR, atomic mass, right? And this is hydrogen is one, chlorine is 35.5. So this is going to be 30. 6.5. So once you do calculation 12, 1.2 divided by 24, what do you get? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. These are your number of moles for magnesium. And 2.74 divided by 36.5 means you get 0 0.075. 0 0.075 moles. So it means you have this 
two number of moles. Okay, now how to find the limiting reactant? Now look at the coefficient. Here, you know, you have nothing means one, right? So for magnesium total, how many moles you have? You have 0 0.05. For hydrochloric acid coefficient is two. So what you are going to do, you are going to divide it by two. Here, you know, it is one. So you divide it by one, it will give you the same. So when you divide it, what do you get? And now light right here. So for magnesium, you still have 0 0.05 moles react with. React with what? When you do it 0 0.075, Okay, so what do you do divided by two? How much do you get 0 0.0375? 0 0.0375 moles of HCl, all right? So it means now you see here which one you have less whether 0 0.05 is less or 0 0.0375 because there are two moles, right? So these moles need to be divided into two. So for each mole, there will be 0 0.0375. So it means 0 0.0375 is less. So means this is going to be the limiting reactant. I write here LR. Okay, limiting reactant. Now here, also one more thing, let's learn. Sometimes, you know, they are going to ask us like how much in excess? Since, you know, we know that magnesium is in excess, but how much in excess? So that also let's calculate. So how much in excess? You have 0 0.05 minus 0 0.0375. Okay. So now what you can do, you can minus it and see how much you get to do the calculation. And this is gonna be 0 0.0125, 0 0.0125. So how much in excess this magnesium is, this much in excess in this reaction. This is how we find the limiting reactant and the reactant in excess.